the last the last couple of days I looked at a few videos by I think bus traveler uh, on the forward unity site and they were fantastic it was a series I think of nine videos on unattainable black beauty and, and not so much about black beauty more than more than they were about mental slavery and the history of blackness in I don't know the US the UK the history of blackness in the Western Hemisphere and they're very fascinating and I really wanted to commend bus traveler for going through that process and sharing that and there's a certain earnestness that you showed when you were you were when you were talking about this stuff and you know making sure that everybody understood the points that you were trying to make and how things connected the mandingo and the thug uh, the plantation to I think post physical to the Jim Crow era making these connections because obviously you saw these connections and you wanted to make sure that the people who were watching got those connections as well every person alive really should have a moment or moments like that when they begin to understand uh, where they are and where they may be going as a people as as an individual and I think the answers any answers lay in the process uh, the process of, of trying to document how I became black now, people might wonder you know how, why would you ask yourself that question you, you're born black you got black skin you can't deny it so that's what you are but I mean I don't think so I think blackness is something you you learn something you 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 might learn uh, consciously or in the case of mental slavery there are things that you learn unconsciously uh, that have a negative impact on you and what I want to document I guess this goes to <laughs> this may be uh, ans answering Ann Sam's question a couple of weeks ago when he asked why YouTube I'm on YouTube to document the process of me understanding my blackness and the power inherent in this black man standing or sitting here talking to you right now you know it's something I had to work at you can see the energy that bus traveler is using when he's talking it's something that he, he worked at you know he, he, he wrote it down and he thought about it and he put together a bunch of information 400 years of history into something that made sense to him and so me I had to uh, from nine years old to 17 years old and think about all the things that can happen during those you know uh, eight nine years especially to a young black male in the inner city and I did grow up in the inner city in Brooklyn New York and the choices and this is what bus travel is talking about the choices that you have to make once you understand uh, you're intelligent enough to, or, or you have accepted the history of, of, of black folks in my particular case in the United States and the choices you have regardless of that history in spite of that history or because of that history and so the videos that I've posted so far and I think there are not I think there are four the first one is called the new immigrant and it's basically me talking about my first year in the United States uh, specifically living in a white in a mostly white town in New Jersey and what that meant how I had to um, you know uh, overcome the images that I had about America when I was when I grew up on the island, uh, I was born on an island called St. Vincent, to the realities once I got here. And the first thing was the recognition that I was black. I was a black man in the United States. You know, where I grew up, everybody looked black. Everybody was like me. They were all black, so it's not something I consciously thought about. But once I got here, I was an other. And, you know, any, any uh, autobiography or memoir or book like that is always talking about, you know, an other, that you, you come to a moment where you realize man you're, you're a little bit different than everybody else and again I think bus traveler may have come of course he understood that he's been black all his life and the videos that he puts up obviously he recognizes that but there's there's a moment in life when you when you go oh my god this is this is what this all means and I think he had that and for me it wasn't one specific moment but it was a process it was years and years of working at it uh, talking to myself thinking about things reading analyzing things you know, and it started with me, first of all, having to understand my history. You know, why did I think the way I did? Why did I feel the way I did? How did that relate to my family, my immediate family, my larger black family, uh, and then people in the world? How, how, do, how, do, how do I get from the way I'm thinking and connecting that to the way the world is thinking? Are they related? Why are they disjointed? How can they be connected so that I can make a better person of myself? And make a better world and I'm hoping that bus traveler can take whatever understanding he's gleaned from this process 
and really use them. And I, I wrote you that you got to start writing this stuff down and start sharing it with people because I think you have something there. And the process is a powerful, a powerful awakening. And, and you've got to make sure that others become awake by talking to them, you know, questioning them. Um, and that's what I'm hoping to do. Not question directly, but maybe I should. Maybe that's the beauty I got from your videos, the fact that, you know, you, you, were, you were asking people to, to question. And I think I'm hoping my videos, when people watch them, that they start questioning themselves and I don't have to pointedly come back and, you know, specifically ask you, so what do you think about that specific issue? But as you're watching them, the questions are going on in your head about your own childhood, your own experiences growing up. And if you have those moments of understanding who you are as a man, as a woman, as a black person, as a white person, as anything, what do you do with those moments? Do you dismiss them or do you embrace them and try to figure things out? And I was forced to embrace my moments. I was forced to embrace my life because I had to make sense of the insanity around me. And so I know I'm not singular. I know I'm not alone. I know bus travel is not alone. I know a lot of people go through those moments. And I'm hoping I'm putting words to emotions and understandings and ideas that people have always thought about. You know, um, so the videos I've posted so far, uh, The New Immigrant, my first year in this country, Dining in America is talking about the idea of America. You know, Bus Traveler talks about the abstract ideas of beauty. And I had a picture of America. It was a white woman and a, and a white man, two kids, a picket fence, uh, a car in the garage, vacations they took together, all that stuff. Money was always there. Yeah, they, they both had good jobs. So that was my picture of America. And I had to mesh that with the reality of my family, which was markedly different, you know. Um, the third video is called A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. Uh, after a year living in New Jersey, um, my mother moved, moved me and my sister, sisters to Brooklyn, New York. Obviously, that's, uh, that's a 180. Uh, you know, you're in the middle of the urban jungle and um, a lot of issues start coming up. The first thing that, that actually happened was that I became a better student. And I think that had to do with the fact that I was around people that made me feel comfortable about, about who I was. Not that I didn't feel comfortable in the, in, the, in the white community, but I felt more comfortable, more at ease in Brooklyn, New York with people that looked and acted like me and in the neighborhood where I could you know, taste foods and, and, and hear the music from my, my home country. Um, but it also was a jarring experience in that uh, my mother, you know, and the man that she lived with, I mean, they were working class, we were working class people living in, you know, poverty type conditions. And so there were always those tensions about money and, you know, uh, uh, power in the household. And I internalized a lot of that angst in my house. And even though outside, I had friends and I was a successful student, you know, internally I had a lot of deep-seated hate and and frustration as to why why almost God was punishing me with with the specifics of my situation um, and so the the last video I posted was me taking those frustrations in the middle school you know and and in that video I didn't talk about this first frustration specifically but I will get into those and try to figure out how it was that I was able to get out of those frustrating situations, or, or at least try to deal with them in a way that didn't hurt myself or the people around me. Because you have to. Middle school is a dangerous time for, for, for boys. It's a dangerous time for black boys in the inner city. Choices have to be made. You know, and, and bus traveler, at the end of it, I think his formula is about choices. You make a choice once you understand um, the history that you have to deal with, the mental shackles that you have to overcome. You understand that, and then you make choices. And so, uh, my story deals with blackness, but I think at the heart of it, it's about the personal struggle to overcome your own uh, mental shackles. And they might not have anything to do with race, but everybody has a prison that they have to get out of before they become the people they are. And that's why I tube. I tube to try to show the process of overcoming my own mental slavery and becoming the person that I am today. Bus Traveler, good job. And Sampa, I hope I answered your question. 
and anybody who's come by um, my page thank you very much and I hope to continue putting out some stuff that's interesting and, and heartfelt and make you think and feel and endeavor to live a better life. Thank you.